Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Um, so, I really quickly wanted to just basically get out a quick public service announcement regarding uh, the YouTube channel. And um, basically what it is, is that I am probably going to be going back to recording rather than to streaming. And there's quite, well, there's quite a few reasons for this that, you know, um, have I've been thinking about over the past um, week or two. Um, and long story short of it, guys, is that it's not that I don't enjoy streaming anymore, but I'm finding uh, myself um basically almost tied I, I i am revolving my time my time and my schedule around streaming at the moment and it's not really working for me um and truthfully i don't want to i don't want to keep going with it to a point where i end up resenting streaming or feeling like it's a chore or like i've heard in the past from so many friends and you know people i've you know talked to along the ways they've eventually sort of just got burnt out from streaming because they either they're running out of creativity or they're running out of just content they don't know that there's uncertainty to what the content might provide depending on what they're streaming etc etc like there's a whole plethora of reasons um and to be fair those reasons are also included in why I am not stopping streaming, but I'm also going to be um, incorporating recording and probably using recording as my primary method of uh, supplying content to my channel now. Um, ultimately, um, with stuff like 5MRP, yes, the content is uncertain and everything like that, but... One of the things I've found is that it has sort of made my, not not necessarily my creativity, um, but sort of like my passion for providing content dwindle a bit because when you're streaming, it's very much, there, there is, there, there's just certain scenes where, you know, you could be sat on a scene for, you know, a good chunk of time and you basically just sat about doing nothing, which isn't really great. Um, and on top of which, um, if there's stuff like, um, if I'm doing a, a response, I'm in the Durango tonight. If I'm doing a response in the Durango, for example, um, and I might want to add in a little bit of music, um, non-copyright or non-copyright music or whatever, I can do so with a recording. Um, once I've edited it and stuff like that, make sure I'm happy with it before I've posted it up to YouTube streaming. I can't really do that as well. Um, you know, sure, I could pay for Spotify in the background and just have NCS going on in the background and stuff like that, but it's not really quite the same. Um, by, well, actually, by quite a long shot, it's not the same. It's nowhere near, near the same, in fact. But you get what I'm saying. Um, so that's sort of half the reason. Um, and there are plenty of other reasons but um long story short guys i've found that my time has when, when i'm working along with a schedule um i've sort of found that it's it's sort of one of the main factors of what my schedule revolves around is when i'm going to be streaming um and when i'm not and obviously with schedules they're you know they chop and change and if you live a life like mine they can be quite chaotic you know one minute you plan to do something and then the next that whole plan is up in the air because something else has happened and now you're dealing with that um, and you just generally have to be quite adaptable um, and the thing is I find that if I'm either like like obviously for example with DPSRP which I stream quite a bit I find that if I am either late to patrol or um, you know or something like that i've generally found that the streams i i can't find the motivation to stream um or even get started in the first place because i'm either late to patrol or whatever and i'm catching up on stuff um whereas with the recording i can be a lot more flexible i can just do it whenever i want to and get get on with it then and there um 
so that's one of the other main reasons why I'm sort of resorting back to recording. It's a lot more flexible for my time schedule. Um, ultimately, my time schedule is getting... I'll, I don't want to say it's getting busier and busier, but it is. it has gotten fairly busy. You know, I'm managing time now with another half. I've got work, uh, gym, everything like that, that, you know, your normal person would be dealing with uh the work i do obviously driving hgvs on shift work you know i'm doing i can do anywhere between a 10 to 12 hour shift and that's commute time not even included in there at times i'm spending 14 hours a day plus um away from home you know i can be spending anywhere of up to 16 hours around about 16 hours away from home each day on a work day potentially um and obviously that then that then leaves very little uh very little time left to be uh you know doing streaming when i've got other things to manage guys um but as well like i found that streaming uh at first i, I was absolutely ecstatic to be streaming like it was all the craze all the hype you know you're talking to you create like all your fans and everything like that creating content for them live it was really cool and it's not that that part has dwindled on me but i found that with streaming it's sort of just become repetitive and mundane um and i want to try and uh, explain this as carefully as i can because it's not the fact that i don't enjoy talking to my fans or subscribers followers nothing like that but I found that it's quite a bland uh, template with streaming. Um, you go live, you know, all, all you guys, like all your followers, subscribers, fans, friends, whoever, they all come online, they say hi, you have a chat while you're streaming, everything like that. The content is unplanned for the most part, yada, 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 and then you come off of it. And you know anything could happen like sometimes when you're streaming don't get me wrong it's great and it's really fun and you're just having fun enjoying yourself and i get it but um for me it's sort of like ets2 dpsrp the stuff that i stream is not really like it's not well-known stuff it's not always going to be high octane or high action constant action type stuff um it will be um at times just nothingness sometimes and i don't really like that with when i'm streaming because i have done streams before with dpsrp and there haven't been there hasn't been a single call go out just because it's been a quiet patrol or whatever and, ETS, <laughs> and then i'll go say that and then there's ets2 um where you know it's just driving down the road and it's just chatting and i found that while i'm chatting to you guys the stuff that i wanted to chat about on stream has sort of gone out the window because i've lost my train of thought with the conversation i'm then having with my subscribers and my followers and my fans and my friends and everything like that so it's all sort of something that you know i'm not going to quit or abandon altogether like that's not what i'm saying but as as i've previously stated i think going back to recording being my primary source of content supply for my channels is going to be the best foot forward um simply because of the fact that i enjoy editing quite a bit as well i can spend any upwards of anywhere between an hour to five hours editing multiple videos and you know doing promo videos or even just pushing out content like this which are patrols um all that sort of stuff guys so yeah um i just wanted to get that quick public safety announcement out there and then um you know go from there really and hopefully you guys will understand um, where I'm coming from with this if there's something that I haven't explained please by all means leave it in the comments below um, I will do my best to uh, reply to it within the uh, within the time frame that the video is posted obviously um, but yeah generally 
I found like when I was with SAF and I was recording, um, I had a lot more fun with the editing of things and everything like that. And then when I went to um, when I went into streaming with SAF, and then when I went into I think I did a couple of streams with TORP and EVRP, but those didn't really kick off. Um, and then streaming DPSRP. It was, um, it's all just dwindled out. Like I said, that blank template of get on live, chat with friends, then come off live. It just didn't do it for me. Like there was nothing to, there was nothing to edit once it was up there. It was up there, so to speak. Um, there was no music I could overlay, no transitions, no, uh, you know, no quick edits or anything like that with inside jokes or anything like that you know capturing some of the really good times that we have here and you know in ets2 and everything like that so yeah um i'm gonna stop rambling now because yeah it's uh <laughs> it's gone on long enough and there are other calls that we do need to go out to so i hope you've enjoyed the uh city skyline as i've been talking and uh yeah let's go out there see what we got Shall I one back in channel tonight? <laughs> Looks like there's a speeding vehicle somewhere on East Joshua Road. But it looks like they've got it stopped at Route 13, so we'll let them uh, deal with that. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I hope that makes uh, sense to you guys. I didn't want to ramble it too long, but I think we were going on for about 10 minutes with that PSA there. So yeah, um, hope it makes sense to you guys. Hope you understand where I'm coming from with that and uh yeah just we'll just take it from there really guys because yeah like i say I, I enjoy the i enjoy the interactivity so to speak of editing videos and you know pushing out content that i really think has been fine-tuned and edited to the best of its abilities and not just um pushed out there without any sort of forethought in a sense which is kind of what streaming is in a way i think it just doesn't it's just gotten um it's just gotten mundane or monotonous it's just the same thing over and over to me unfortunately um so yeah i'd like and i think ultimately as well as i'm as i'm saying this i think ultimately the the main take home for me which i'm not really registering or i've only just realized is that it gives me so much more flexibility with my time management um, and everything like that. I'm not rushing to get home to be on time for uh, patrol or to stream. I can actually take it easy and just start recording when, uh, whenever I want, really. And it's a lot of... It feels like a lot of pressure taken off of me. And don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to get it twisted. I know that there is no specific time frame that I should be um I should be adhering to or anything like that with streaming, but I've always found it's good to keep and maintain some sort of schedule. Um just to keep things generally in order. Um and keep a good routine going. And it's just one thing I've always struggled with, um, in regards to streaming. Like if I'm not on time then for whatever reason in my head because ultimately I am very ADHD and I'm quite OCD as well um, if I if I'm unable to start the stream on time or anything like that um, I just won't like I, I, I struggle to find the motivation to do it um, and on top of that as well um, 
on top of that as well, it's like... Oh, God, hang on. I lost my train of thought as I was going on with it. And then it's just gone again. Um... Oh, it was something to do with... <clears throat> it was something to do with my OCD and like streams again i was going along the same topic but yeah that's just cut out now um i'm sure it'll come back to me later guys but yeah like i'll probably just end up repeating myself if i'm not too careful so i'll shut up guys and i'll start i'll just start enjoying the patrol tonight and getting it getting underway with it to be honest um anything i want to talk about i will talk about as we go through the patrol to be fair, so yes. I think, I think for me as well, actually, that's what I was going to say. Like, don't get me wrong, as much as I do enjoy interacting with, uh, you know, all the followers and, subs and subscribers I have as well. Um, it's sort of like I I'm so focused on talking with them in chat that I'm not really focused or enjoying myself. That's where I was going with it. Because I'm talking to, you know, whoever's in chat, and this by no means a criticism as such i do appreciate people obviously um appreciating viewing um watching my content and everything like that but um because i was so i was sort of focused on you know obviously talking to um all my friends fans followers subscribers in the chat i wasn't really my head wasn't really in the game it wasn't really in the rp which was another thing for me it sort of just it threw me off to a degree that i was sort of i was sort of in two places at once or i was two different persons uh at the same time which i didn't really like as well um so yeah Whereas here I can sort of give it my all. I can just switch between getting into the RP and then just also chatting away and, you know, sort of narrating uh, the content as well as I go on. So, uh, yeah. Um, for me, like, my, ch my mind works at like a million miles an hour, as I'm sure a lot of people's minds do. Um, but mind works so quickly and has been working so quickly as of lately that i've been struggling to keep up with a lot of a uh, lot of stuff that's going on um so murder hudson yikes um so yeah it's sort of like my ability to keep focus on something has never been weaker and it's something that i really want to get back in uh, get back on track and get back into <laughs> oh dude that looks awesome at night holy shit <laughs> damn son that looked dope um but yeah so like because i dev the server as well as obviously manage personnel and people within the community for dpsrp like my head is in like 12 different places all at once and it is yeah it's genuinely a struggle for me so i do try and you know i think by streaming and uh patrolling at the same time sort of doesn't help whereas obviously if i'm recording it's all pre-made content you know i can uh limit my focus to where it needs to be um at any given time really jesus laura
like here i'm not really you know i'm not really rushing about trying to see what's next to catch on a stream or something i'm just taking my time and then whatever happens happens and i can just edit to what wherever that goes um so yeah and don't get me wrong i know people can skip through to the interesting parts on a stream i get it you know i do understand it but i'm just not i don't like making people wait for that you know or i want them to be enjoying the content that they're never having to skip through certain stuff because it gets too boring as such you know um and it's not that it's not that i'm like panicking about doing that or i have a phobia or a fear of you know people leaving my channel because it's not interesting enough or anything like that it's nothing like that it's actually more for myself as well like holding myself to a standard where the content is interesting that if i were to look back on it which i do occasionally because ultimately i like to review you know the quality and make sure that you know if i was enjoying it well would that be stuff that the viewers would be enjoying as well which obviously hopefully they would um but yeah just like being able to look back on it and say yeah okay no that looks pretty decent i'm happy with that you know i've got no issues with that whatsoever so yeah no it's uh it's a good good standard i hold myself to and like even now even as i'm chatting now instead of having to look around to see what's coming up next on the chat instead i'm just thinking of what where my next patrol route is going to be so obviously i've been thinking about right okay let's go see what's going on in grapeseed instead of you know having to focus on chat with this that or the other you know it's just so much nicer to take it easy and relax really instead of having to constantly monitor 101 different things to be fair because like my discord's going nuts in the background i've got my phone blowing up just yeah whole load of stuff as you all noticed as well there um we've taken out station six at the minute just due to um due to it causing a severe lag spike in the area um it wasn't really it wasn't really optimized that well so we've taken it out for the time being um we're currently looking at trying to find a new grape seeds fire station at the moment i think one of the other things as well actually now that i'm thinking about it about recording over streaming is that streaming you sort of have to sit you have to be quite strict with your timings or not strict but you know you like you know you're going to be streaming at a set time and if it's on a day where you know most people are going to be at work or this that or the other fucking murder kitty somewhere um you know it, it can suck about how much exposure you're getting whereas if what i used to do before when i was recording primarily is i would actually set it up as a premiere so it would premiere at a set time on a set date um that was such an awesome feature youtube came out with um youtube being my main platform that i obviously provide content to um it's just so uh such a convenient feature to have such an awesome feature oh hello coyote um so yeah it's i mean there there are 101 different reasons i could list here which would you know which would list having uh which would list going back to recording for me um as a benefit rather than sticking to streaming so to speak so yeah um and on top of which it does get like i said i'm gonna repeat myself here but as i've said it gets my head more focused into you know what i'm doing in patrol i'm actually actively uh you know searching for when the next incident is going to happen whether it's a 911 or a traffic stop or this that or the other as opposed to you know um as opposed to um you know having my head in chat or in other places basically
actually did um actually dispatched last night for the first time i think i've done in forever to be honest and it was yeah pretty cool actually it was pretty cool i did enjoy it quite a bit um i was very rusty though <laughs> very rusty um took me a while to get into the swing of things off from the get-go but once i was in the get-go that was you know i was smooth running with it so yeah Yep, he's gonna come right across me. Asshole. Okay, well, we're under half a tank of uh, petrol or diesel or whatever this car takes anyway, so we'll fill her up. We'll fill it up. Dude. That station is causing an awful lot of frame drop. Sandy Shores in general was like barely managing 30 FPS. That's not great. Alright. One thing I will just do actually while I'm uh while I'm stopped here. Is take this down. This also wants to go over here. But yeah. Bear with me, guys. I'm just lightening the load because I've got some background tasks going on which don't really need to be up. I keep forgetting that <laughs> I keep forgetting that because I'm recording as well I can just edit this out later but <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to take that out to be honest because it's quite uh, <laughs> it's quite uh, nice to be honest right uh, one thing I will do is I've actually just gotten rid of uh, my internet browser uh, I was just taking my internet browser down because that was running in the background that was running quite intensive as well on the cpu and gpu um and run a couple of background taking a couple of background tasks off i'm going to quickly run back that route that we just did guys and see if it has the same sort of frame loss because if it is then it's probably something to do with the server but if not then you know then i can figure it out see what's causing the server issues yeah, see, we're already going back down to 30 FPS. See, that's gone, look that way, at almost 70. Come down this way, down to bloody 30. Um, okay, so second run around, yeah, 35, 40, you know, mid-30s, I'll take that. I'll take that. And yeah, looking across here, substantially, uh, yeah, you've got... 10, 10 more frames so I'll take it but yeah there's probably stuff that could be improved on there I'll admit um, there is a lot going on here though you've got GNN Sheriff and Medic Center there Burger Shot there Prompt's Far Station behind us like Jesus Christ Sandy has become uh, very 
intense, to be to be honest. Hello. Channel 1 all units, be advised for an AMPR activation. Panorama Drive, Joshua Road, heading westbound for a black comet with the license plate Golf Romeo 34, Papa 3, Romeo 4. Hogged vehicle for speeding and also illegal underglow this time. Channel 1 are going to be heading to Route 68 in Joshua Road, standing by in case it makes it way, its way that far. Of course you would be, Jay. Charlie 1 in my position, and I'm probably looking to pick up this vehicle. It's probably going to be passing Station 2 here shortly. Stand by. Charlie 1 got eyes on with the vehicle eyes on at this time. It's currently southbound Joshua Road. Stand by. Another one final stop, 4014 Joshua Road and Route 68 approach on that vehicle. Vehicle has shot its engine off. If I can have one additional, please. I can try two on them down the road already. 10 4, thank you. <laughs> God damn it, why'd the engine turn off? There we go. So the one I'll be out making contact with the driver. Hi, mate. Is that you, Grim? We, okay, right, Grim, can I have your ID, license and registration, please? Reason for the stop is, um, the vehicle's coming in as, uh, illegal underglow, and also you've been pinging a couple of our speed cameras around the area. Where are you going to tonight, please, Grim? Charlie one drive is going to be one times Grim Azrael. Grim, where are you going? Uh, where are you going to tonight? Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay, no worries. Sit tight. We'll be back in a moment. Carrying vehicle. Hi, mate. Oh, good. Individual is mute. Individual can hear you. Known to be skittish. Tends to carry in a bag, either climbing, rigging, repelling equipment, and or a digital camera. Yikes. Yeah, it's yeah, it's grim. Just reading her. Uh, yeah, just reading her notes here. Well. Vehicle's coming back, registered, insurance is held to Moore's Mutual, fully comprehensive plan as well, so. Other than that, she's clean and clear. Um, in fact, actually, let me just quickly look up her person. Warning, mental health. 
Yeah, she's got a mental health marker. Yeah, she's... Oh, wow, great. She's got markers for mental health evade, reoffending for trespass, and also a medical concern. Fuck's sakes. Oh, great. Yeah. Well, I mean, we know about... We know about the trespassing instance anyways. Was that Fire 81 that got on? Uh, Amber, yeah. Ah, that'd be fun. And Navy 3 Northbound 1331. Yeah, I thought it was, but I wasn't sure if I was going mad or not. No, you're fine, mate. It's fine. <laughs> okay, she's got. Uh, right. Apparently, she's got a legal underglow on, so we need, I'm going to have to check that out. Do we know who's put the marker on the vehicle? No, not a clue. Uh, someone has Sancom, apparently. Hi, right, Grim. Just real quick. Um, right. Obviously, you've been pinged for, uh, on the speed cameras and the AMPR cameras. Okay. Um, are you alright to step out of the vehicle, please? Because I'm going to need to do an inspection on the vehicle for modifications. Because apparently, you've got illegal underglow on the vehicle. Awesome, appreciate it, mate. The key's still left. The key's still left in the car, yeah. Cool, appreciate it. All right, just go talk to my colleague over in the charger, and I'll be back with you here in a moment. Unless you want to supervise the inspection, of course. <laughs> All right. poking through it though. Yeah. Go with that. See if that'll Yes. Fuck it, we'll go with that. That's the trunk, technically speaking. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. We'll see what we get back here, guys. Exhaust, right? Okay.
Uh, I believe it's 85 decibels or louder um, is illegal. Oh, whoops. Hey, Sam, do me a favor, pop the trunk, please. Mine? Yes, please. Okay, I'm just saying I need to switch. <laughs> No worries. I was sat on that side to get to my tablet, but... There you go. Thank you. Okay. Why did I M.E.R. that? I just needed to M.E. that. Okay. Yeah, window 10 is not an issue. <clears throat> okay, alright.
Ah, uh, Graham, so a couple of... There's a couple of modifications to your car which are illegal. Um, but... I'm fairly certain we might be able to fix to uh, sort this out with a fix it ticket um, but I'll let you know just uh, sit tight with the vehicle I'll be back in a minute what are you hiding in your charger for? Uh -huh. I'm doing my um, I'm checking over the report from yesterday I need to attach the medical report for what? The um, RTC I attended yesterday. <laughs> oh, right. I'm, atta I'm attaching shit to the incident report because some of the others weren't done yet. Right, okay. Okay, just real quick in relation to this. Um, exhaust level's coming up above the legal limit, um, which is 85 decibels. Uh, she's also got a nitrous oxide system fitted to the vehicle and the underglow. Uh, the underglow I'm actually not too worried about. I think she could only just get away with it, I reckon. Yeah, it's... it's... It's a tricky one. On my eyes, it's quite blue, but I think that's more of a my eyes issue. Yeah. It seems like it's a very pale, sort of almost white kind of blue, right? Yeah, exactly. Blue. Yeah, exactly. On top of which as well, technically speaking, for that underglow to be illegal, it needs to be flashing. Because it's steady burn, it's actually legal. I thought blue is a restricted colour for displaying on vehicles full stop. No. Only if it's flashing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um... I'm pretty sure that's the case anyways. Let me check that real quick, because... I, yeah. I was... I was... Possible to be mistaken for a law enforcement vehicle, then it could be illegal. So, for example, if the blue that blue is quite a light blue and it's not very bright, so you're not going to mistake it for a law enforcement vehicle. But the vehicle I pulled over earlier for blue underglow had a very obviously bright blue neon underglow. Right. The same blue as my lights. So my interpretation has always been that if it's that, that I think they could probably get away with. If they can change the colour, then it'd probably be best to. But my interpretation's always been that blue is a restricted colour. The same as you can't have red lights on the front of a vehicle, and you can't have white on the rear other than reverse lights or emergency vehicles. G That's always been my understanding, at least. No, it's the, yeah, so basically if it's white face, or sorry, if it's red facing the front, um, or if it's red facing in any direction other than the rear, it's, um, in fact, let me, let me check to make sure, because at this point, it's mainly just, we're just worried about the blue, so let me check that. Yep, so if there's any vehicle that this, that flashes red, blue, white, or green in any direction, then it's improper, but because it's steady burn, it's actually legal. Okay, is that from our penal code specifically? Yes. Okay. Where no, else am I going to have got it from, Sam? I wasn't sure what where you were where you were going off, but I don't have access to that, so I'm just going off whatever I can find on. On whatever. Nobody else has access to that thing that you're looking at. Touche. <laughs> so, so I've basically just been going, eh, this is what Google says. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, no. So that, yeah, Go Google says it depends on the state, but if it, but you can't display it. Google basically says you can't display it facing forwards or have it flashing. Yeah, but no, I'm, it's I'm fine. Skeptical about that. Yeah, okay. no, it is fine. Okay, okay, so in relation, yeah, we, it's just going to be the right. What I'm. We can all see that. <laughs> right. Yeah. No. 
you should all be able to see that, but it's not been posted yet. Um, in relation to the vehicle, though, um, what I'm going to say is... No, that's the wrong button. What I'm going to say is we'll deal with the exhaust by means of a fix-it ticket because that's not something we can fix on the side of the road. But in regards to the nitrous oxide system, I'm just going to say unscrew the bottles and conf unscrew and confiscate the bottles and then issue a fix-it ticket to get the actual system, uh, the NOS system, uninstalled also at a separate date. Okay, yeah, they're, they're $250 infractions even if they don't get it fixed so yeah no that's fine that's not not well as long as the fi ones. as long as the fix it tickets on record that's the main thing yeah okay all right i'll get that done now sounds good can i have my equipment back yeah still fit to the car go get it oh. <laughs> to keep hanging around or? Um, nah, it's alright now. I've got it under wraps now. I'll just issue in the fix-it tickets and then we'll be good here. Oh, good. I'll, I'll head off and go and pretend to do something productive. Yeah, well, get those, get that paperwork done for the collision, mate. That'll be good. Yeah. It, it's all done. It's just attaching all the reports together. i got to go chase up numbers. Okay, mate. Not, not to worry. Yeah. In a bit. In a bit, mate.
Alright, Grim. Right. You about? Cool. Happy days, right? So, I'm going to be dealing with this vehicle by means of a fix it ticket. Um, also known as a vehicle rectification form. So, at the moment in time, um, your vehicle came through for speeding and illegal underglow fit to the vehicle. Um, I'm actually happy to say that the underglow isn't the issue. The underglow is actually legal. Um, however, the main modifications in question which um, are illegal um, uh, is going to be the exhaust system, obviously because it's emitting a sound that is louder than 85 decibels, which is obviously louder than it should be. Um, and louder than is uh, legally allowed. And also the main concern being the nitrous oxide system now depending on how you want to go about this we can unscrew the cylinders from the nos tank uh, from we can unscrew the cylinders from the pipe work of the nitrous oxide system and basically this uh vehicle rectification notice will basically say that you're gonna have the nos system uninstalled from the vehicle like all the pipe work everything like that is going to be taken out of the vehicle um with the exhaust while the exhaust system is also being worked on or um if you don't confiscate if you don't surrender the co the nitrous oxide bottles then we'll have to seize the vehicle entirely so it's your choice mate okay cool that's not an issue then um just to let you know as well um although this is only a fix it ticket because it's going on record uh you now have two weeks obviously for the modifications to be amended if they aren't amended within that time period and the vehicle is seen back on a public highway um then the vehicle will be seized due to that okay okay no worries right if you want to unscrew the bottles and uh bring them to me and we'll get them put in my car and then we'll get the paperwork finished off here okay all right appreciate it good result You found it eventually, has. Sorry, went to unit disregard that player. What? <laughs> yeah, even my character's like, uh, what did I just hear on the radio? <laughs> Appreciate it, Grim. Thank you. Right, sit tight here. I'll get the paperwork sorted. I just use this boxy mode for whenever I'm carrying anything now. So, uh, obviously, not a mission of guilt. The date as I make it is going to be the 20th of May 2023. Okay, so if. Alright, in fact, let me just check. We'll stay in two weeks' time. So, if the. If the situation isn't resolved by the 3rd of June 2023, this vehicle sighted on the roads again with the modifications still intact, then obviously the vehicle will be seized. Do you understand that, yeah? Cool, happy days. Right, do me a favour, just sign here on the, uh, by the X. Mm. 
Right, this is your copy. You gonna take your copy or? Cool. Right. Um, you're free to go. Uh, you're free to go, Grim. Uh, don't need to wait for me to turn off my lights or anything. So uh, yeah, just make sure you're obviously pulling back out into traffic safely. Okay. Cool. All right. You have a good one, Grim. <clears throat> oh, hello. How did I miss all that? Yep, you're fine to go. There we go. Right. Sorted. Cool. God damn it. It's on the one route. I'm guessing it was that. That big, but as it was gone. Is it going to be that Ford or with the purple underglow to it? Good copy, I'm right. Oh, shucks, don't take your seatbelt off. Another one of lost eyes. Check the highway, Hudson. I'm gonna go check YJI. Yep. Charlie 1 and 479 is going to be 23. <laughs> Mate, slow it down coming through here, please. Can't tell me what to do. You're lucky we got a pursuit. Charlie 1, yes, yes. Charlie 1 is going to be pursuit command for this. Yeah. 
Charlie one, did we get a plate lock on the vehicle at all? Charlie one, I got plate lock, stand by. Once we got enough, we'll uh oh, go for a box, guys. Ten seventy. It's gonna be watch it gun in hand, gun in hand. White male wearing all black. Location. We're gonna be Marina Drive 3031. Stand by. Drop the weapon! Drop the weapon! Got the one coming back towards Joshua. Yes, office, got the weapon now! God damn it. DPS, drop your weapon now! Phoenix, take calls, please. Sam, go back to your vehicle, please, mate, just in case he tries to grab another vehicle. Charlie One, have we got any other units available to this, please? Three, five, four, in the area. Gonna be continuing coming up towards station two. Stop running! Sorry, I've got caution approach. Be advised, he's running in the middle of the road, passing station two right now. Laura, get up there and bump him if he's got the weapon in hand. Be careful, though. Stop running, oh, no. put the firearm down! Hands down! Give me hands! Give fucking hands up! He's just attempted to shoot officers, we're still pursuing. He's gonna be continuing passing the gate approach. Sorry, request back contact. Stand by, I'm going for tires. Damn it. Cease fire, cease fire, cease fire. We've got LEO in range. This is gonna be 68 uh, versus 68. Go on, Hudson, we got to run. Guys, you gotta take over, I can't with these three. John, shot five from the vehicle, gonna be dropping back and be continuing 68 eastbound. Ten, David, three, five, four, I'm out. Fuck's sake, your face is out. Coming up to the other motel. Passing it now, passing the custom. Don't be unable to. <laughs> yeah, Phoenix, you track uh, 121. Did you get a plate lock at all? Continuing coming up past Yellow Truck now. Going panora uh, panorama towards Sandy. Right, Phoenix, just hold the air for a moment. Charlie 1354, you on this channel? 10 4. Are you still mobile at all, J? Negative, I got a, a bullet to the radiator. Right, that's received. Get a county tow towards your location, mate. Go I'll secure this car. You got a better car for this. Thank you. We stop the flywheel. What do you call it? Okay, my I'll be five months. Right, Charlie One, I'm en route to flywheels now. Phoenix, keep updates, please. One twenty one, your status, please. Your status green, gonna be on sixty eight. Alright, 121, if you want to re engage in this, feel free. I'm going to be re engaging also. Uh, 479 staying with the original vehicle. Two, one, two, 
Chief Phoenix, do you have an estimated speed for me? Charlie one to Phoenix, go to the north side of the tunnel for me. I've got south side covered. Ten nine. Receive, be advised, white vehicle is coming southbound 13, standby. Receive, we'll be re-engaging. Yes, yes, if you could, please. Should have got spikes out there. Yes, yes, Cliff Challenger. Another one, we're going to be eastbound Alhambra towards Sandy, stand by. Southbound of northbound Mountain View Road, westbound on Zancudo, passing the back of Station 4, approaching Bandon Motel. It's going to be southbound turn onto Panorama Drive, crossing over East Joshua Road at this time. Vehicle and pedestrian traffic is low. Caution for pedestrian at flywheels. Weather is good. DRA is low. Speed's going to be in excess of 100 miles an hour at this time, making a westbound turn for Route 68. Uh, believe the vehicle occupancy to be one at this time. The one vehicle is making some quite dangerous passes at this time. Uh, DRA is going to be medium. Vehicle traffic is up to medium at this time. TC, TC at 4017, heavy TC airbag deployment. G, can you see inside? Charlie 1, Charlie 1, you want me to just show up in a vehicle? Yes, yes. Cap. You got anyone inside, G? I see one. Charlie 1, we got one in the vehicle I'm responsive at this time. Stand by. Turn 4, we're moving up now. Alright, G, I'm with you, mate. Let's go in through passenger side if we can. Alright. Sam, keep, uh, all right, dra uh, drag him out, drag him out of the passenger side. Alright. Guys, keep eyes on him, we're going to try and get him pulled out of the passenger side here. Did you say there's some pedestrian up at flywheels? Uh, yes, there was, mate. Is that possibly the individual we're missing? Potentially, mate, but I'm more concerned about this person for the time being. Blood coming from the mouth and nose. Okay, no worries, mate. Alright, lay him down over here, G, and we'll, uh... Alright. Yeah. Also, just get, get him cuffed to the front, at least, and we can roll medics in. Alright. Charlie, one medics. Uh, you're going to be clear to roll in at this time. 
Both flywheels. Uh, panorama. Yeah, if you two want to go, go ahead. Yep. This is getting fucking irritating. Fuck's sakes. I'm gonna try to turn trim myself from 479 right. Flywheel to entry like that if I hit a bedroom. Team T10 Light D Manning, C2, one entered oh, the channel. <laughs> 18 T10 Light D Manning, C2, timed out. Uh, white female, possibly brown hair, dark colored top with jeans. Medic unit, be advised you're coming in uh, unreadable at this time. Eighteen T ten light D Manning, C two, one timed out. Deal with him for now, mate. Here. Oh yikes! Yeah, so Hello. Revolver. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have some bedded into his thigh, mate. So just be careful with that for the time being. I gotta secure this G18. All right. Hey, What do you mean? Like a walkie-talkie with an earpiece. All right, okay. Charlie one four seven nine. You able to activate your BCSO ambulance, please? Potentially gonna need it. Ten four, being around, Charlie. Ten four, thank you. matching the description but without a confirmed plate I have no uh, probable cause Charlie won't be advised Phoenix tracked it to flywheels there's your probable cause uh, Jesus Sam pay attention mate uh. right I'm gonna go secure this mate
1179, repeat the description of the person again, please. It's going to be a white female, possibly brown hair, dark coloured top with dark coloured jeans. Okay. Also now, I think that's an individual walking down 68. Received 120, uh, actually negative 121, stay on your scene please. Um, if she keeps walking towards us, we'll go ahead and uh, detain her for further questioning. This guy's got one pair, uh, this one. Received. Where the fuck's he going? Okay. Fair play. No, grab what you need. Cheers, mate. You need a life pack. Hey, Audrey. Yeah, she's about a mile down there, walking towards us. Alright, mate, no worries. I'll be in your med kit, mate. All oh, right. We got what looks to be a uh, punctured lung. After we get them to uh, bandied better. All right. Well, let's load and go from here, mates. We're not medics, yeah. unfortunately. All right. I'm <sighs> gonna get them on the board. Yep. Safety colors and get the box. After yep. we're close enough, we could go to the pill box. No. Let's keep it to Sandy for now, mate. Due to right. other operational needs at the minute. Okay. okay. Alright, I've got blocks on the backboard ready to slide them on, mate. Alright. Roll towards me. Yep. Alright, so I'm gonna count one, two, three, roll. Yep. back of medic so yeah I'll go with 
No, negative. No. Oh. No. That Hudson taken. Alright, Hudson, you're clear, mate. Alright, hold on, I'll clear getting this vehicle secured, mate. Alright, if you want to start a vehicle recovery form, mate, and I'll start arranging for county tow to get here. In fact, actually. In fact, actually, forget it. Uh, G, forget it. If you just go go to Flywheel's help out Sam, I'll sort out vehicle recovery, mate. Right. Show me how that flywheel's garage. Definitely started on this route, actually. <clears throat> uh, four zero two one was it? Four zero two four. Hundred and sixteen SSGTT Thomas joined your channel. Get me B shift B shift O to the hospital in Sunday for supervision of a suspect. Whisper target found. Go ahead. Just for information, the vehicle, the pink, uh, purple four door from earlier, runner 21, it had a revolver, some energy drinks, and a bag of coke in the vehicle. 10 4, have you got that noted down somewhere? It will be shortly when the paperwork goes in for the uh, impound log. Greasy, thank you. <clears throat> two, one, two, one, one. Why does everyone want me? Go ahead. I know this Mitsubishi is going to be one Scarlet Bloom. You don't happen to have that individual 23 with you, do you? No.
That's a lot of links. Also, now I'm sure B shift with the suspect at Thunder. Copy, welcome back. Oh, we can't do one because, yeah, the person's not registered local. Fuck. Let's do a vehicle recovery form then. So I need to edit these even further. Fuck sakes. So I can't even fill that out at the minute, which is irritating. Charlie one key range county tow, please for a white ocelot lynx. Uh, 1050 after a vehicle pursuit 4017 at route 68 please LEO is going to be on scene So that's something I'll need to do on CAD as well.
Go ahead, Hudson. Do you get any documentation of that person who crashed? Uh, negative. Vehicle was, came back as unregistered. Um, we'll need an ID from Sandy Mud. No whisper target Sorry, found. Mike. Based on G's description, the CCTV is not massively clear on whether we have a positive ID on the RO. Um, okay. Vehicles can be impounded because to do a crime. Um, yeah. Another investigation. Um, we're going to hold off on boloing. Or no, going to hold off on warranting the um, uh, RO. But I am going to put a bolo out for questioning because if it's not. If it's not her driving the vehicle, then we still want to know who is. Yeah, Roger. Um, what did you get from over on 68? Um, Glock 18. I need to submit into evidence. Um, and then they had a revolver stuck in them. Yeah, that too. Other than that, there's and not. Radio. Yeah, there's not much documentation. Oh yes, the radio as well. Oh, in fact, I've got unfinished business with that one. Gotcha, bitch! What, that truck? Yes. <laughs> the other one's going to be 1011, nearest postal 3000, eastbound lights at East Joshua on a red and blue four door pickup truck occupied times one. No additionals required. Just for information, person ID at Sunday Medical is going to be a David Davidson vehicle, Vonda 20 colon, comes back to them. Three, five, four, show, coming to the airport, right? Nishi. Also, Nandam, getting more information regarding the uh, flywheels. 10-4, we got CCTV footage. Oh, they're one. 10 descriptions. Okay, then. Uh, two blonde females, what? mainly wearing all black. Good afternoon, ma'am. Director Will Shield, San Andreas Department of Public Safety. Okay, just for your information, this interaction is being audio and video recorded through body cam and equipment fitted to my vehicle, okay? Um, reason for the stop is I've got some unfinished business with you regarding your manner of driving off road at 4024, okay? Uh, just before we had that pursuit take off, um, I told you to slow down. You told me I couldn't, uh, couldn't tell you what to do. Um, ignoring that, is there any particular reason why you're driving so recklessly on that road? Okay. Um, even. Stop. It's my parents that I got them. Okay. Uh, 
I appreciate that. However, even still, you do have to be operating the vehicle with due up, care please. and attention. Okay, and in a safe I manner. I thought I didn't expect anyone to Those roads, ma'am, I'm not sure if you're aware, but they... You do get dog walkers and pedestrians and other vehicles uh, on those know, roads. I, I, I've only just got up. I've only just been able to get out of the house because my pants are out. Uh, yeah, I appreciate that, but even still, yeah, you're not understanding what I'm telling you. There are still pedestrians and everything like that that go on those roadways and those walkways. Okay, they're not always completely desolate. Have you got your um, license, registration, and insurance on you? Um, pretty sure my parents said it was all good to go and drive. Yeah. Okay. Do you have the documents on you though? I didn't check anything. I uh, that... told you to go. Okay, no worries. Have you got a name I can check? Uh, Scarlet. Not okay. Scarlet. Sorry, uh, Lillian. L Lillian. Getting my mind confused. Okay, no, that's fine. So, Lillian. Okay, what's your last name, Lillian? Uh, Hart. Hart. Alright, sit tight, and I'll be back at the end of a minute. Is there anything in the vehicle I need to know about? Any weapons or anything like that? Uh, Cynthia? My parents. It's my parents' truck, basically. They only just gave it to me. Okay, so who's the vehicle registered to then? Uh, it should be me. They transferred it over, but I've not checked anything. Okay, they not to worry. Go and test it. All right, not to worry. Sit tight with me. I'll be back in a minute. If you want, I can get out. If I need to any safer. No, you're you're fine. Sat right there. It's no issue. Yeah, so they do all check out. Alright, okay. Yeah, she just misspelled the name. Done this thing there. there you go. In fact, I'll just quickly move this up here. So I can see. Uh, point five thanks okay all right uh is yes they are the rich keeper
Four four sixteen. Have a good night. Four hundred and sixteen. SSGTT Thomas disconnected from your channel. Yeah, it was technically reckless driving, so yeah. Target found. All right, Miss Hart. Just a just a real quick one. How are you spelling your first name for me? L e l e l l a n. Oh, okay. It's just because I've got you down as L i l l a n. But you said your first oh, name was Lillian, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I've just never known a name to be spelled that way, but. Uh, Either way, I have trouble speaking sometimes with words. It's okay, take your time. And also, my ADHD is messing up, so. No, you're fine. Okay, anyways, um, cut to the chase. Um, it's not going to be a citation, but it is going to be a written warning um, on your file now for reckless driving, okay? So if you are found, um, if you are found obviously driving recklessly, um, in the future, then it's probably more likely going to be a citation. Um, if you can just sign here at the bottom, please, just to say that you acknowledge um, the written warning, um, and then we can go from there. You can just sign there on the X for me. I appreciate it. If you can uh, hand that back for me, please. Cool. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> am I okay to like go on to the like dirt road over there? Yeah, you're fine to drive on the dirt roads. Just please make sure to obviously drive in a safe manner, because obviously the driving displayed earlier was pretty mm -hmm. poor. Okay. Okay. Just right. Uh, so. I'm just going to hand you your copy, Lillian, and then uh, you can cut away. I meant like to come here, am I okay to cut off? No, no, no. Right, just take this for me for a second, then I'll tell you the best way to go there. Yeah, um... Okay. I'm, I'm wanting to cut, like, cut across, but I don't know if I can. Yeah, no, um, I wouldn't cut across, to be fair. Um, just because you got that ridge there that might damage your suspension. Best bet, continue okay. down continue down this road until you see that um, power substation down there with the telegraph poles. Mm -hmm. Alright, make a right there and then you'll have access along this road here to uh, drive yeah, it down um, it, alright? I meant like, um, like when you get back to your car or something. Am I uh, okay to like, just cut it straight across? Uh, I would, I mean... If, if your truck can make that ridge, yes, but as long as you don't obviously go airborne or anything like that, okay? Um, is that illegal or...? Well, it will be if you go airborne, because then you're driving in a reckless manner again, aren't you? Uh, okay. Alright. 
Right, once I get back to my vehicle, you're free to go, Lola. Mm -hmm. Shall the one I'm going to be code for tonight, written warning issued. Hey. Uh, mate. Jesus Christ, what a nightmare. What was all that about? Uh, you remember when you were with us at, um, that traffic stop at 4024 before it turned into a 1080? Yeah. Yeah, you notice how. Everybody's... Yeah, you notice how she. You notice how that truck was the one that came flying up at us and went airborne briefly before stopping right in between myself and Sam. Yep. Yeah, that's that's the woman I was dealing with. Just issued her with a written warning, so if she is seen driving recklessly again, then it's got on file that she's basically been driving like a twat and we're going to cite her for it. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's quite funny because you go, like, as, you, as the pursuit started, I say, uh, I told her to slow down. She goes, you can't tell me what to do. <laughs> this written warning says different. Well, I think she threatened to shoot um, Sam. No, yeah, well, then I asked her if there were any weapons at the vehicle or anything like that. She said no, and there isn't any weapons documents on her. So if she does have a firearm, it's illegal. But if you, now mm. that you mention it, we should maybe turn around and pull her over again, do a vehicle search on a probable cause of criminal threats for threatening to shoot an LEO. Also. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Four zero two four. Route six eight. Incoming nine one one. Yeah, it's Sam. Um... Fuck's sakes. Four zero two four. Route fifty eight. Charlie one and four seven nine are going to be on route to you. Three five four. You on route also? Ten one route. Charlie one one twenty one. Your status? One twenty one, are you ten seventy with this suspect right now? Taser! Charlie 1-1 one, suspect, 10-15, taser deployed. You all good, Sam? Yeah, rolled up, pulled right in front of my car, got got out, drew a fucking shotgun on me, pointed out at me, instinctively just floored it into him. Good shit, good shit. Right, guide other units in, mate. I'll start searching her. Two on incoming units, you take the exit for the dirt road 4024 and then take a left, left on the dirt road parallel um, 68. I'll be waiting for the right point. Jesus Christ. Not your best move, Lillan. 
being route. 479 got the vehicle. Charlie 1479, can you search the truck for a shotgun, please? Uh, Stone 479, be advised, it'll be about 30 meters northbound down the dirt trail they dropped it as they're running. <clears throat> Okay, that's interesting. Three five four one twenty one. What's going to be your current twenty? If I do, literally just drive past me. I'm stood on the side of the road. Ten four. All right, stand up. She's unresponsive. It's alright, to be fair, I fucking smacked her good with the Durango. Oh, sorry, I got the fire alarm. I was also gonna be drug paraphernalia in the truck. Received. Oh, for fuck's sakes. She got some. Plus she's trying to swallow a baggie. Fuck's sake! Hang on. Offered to start me a second one for a DPS charge damage from shots. Alright, give me a sec. Well, do you want me here or do you want me to walk down to Hudson? No, I stay here for now. Right, hang on. Sam, grab this real quick. Yep. Right, let's roll her over real quick. Get that, to get the rest of that powder out of her mouth. Alright. I'm gonna grab an evidence bag from you to prepare if that's all right. Yep. Yeah, Sam, make sure you make sure that bag has still got some remnants left, mate, because I want that tested. Yeah, 
Yep. <laughs> Grabs the evidence back from the back of evidence bags. <laughs> For fuck's sake, sir. Right, okay. Got it. Right. At this moment of time, you're under arrest. Do not have to say anything. Or you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford an attorney, one will be provided to you by the state of San Andreas. Okay. You understand your rights? I've read them to you. Not if you understand. Okay, happy days. Right, Where, where's that ringing coming from? I don't know, I'm gonna search it out. Yeah, no worries. She's already been searched, mate. It's just a, just a baggie that was found on her, which has already been oh. secured. And she threw a phone. Now, Sam, there's, there's something. One. Yeah, can you grab that, mate? Yeah. It's, Looks it's... to be stuck under one of the by one of the wheels. Don't answer. Yeah, it's just under the. Yeah, don't answer it, mate. Over. Just check the number and uh, leave it at that. Okay, right. This is going to be Lil and Hart as well, so. I literally yeah, just. No, literally, no, I literally just stopped her. Um, she was on my traffic stop on East Joshua Road. Yeah, I uh, recognize the uh, truck. Yeah. Right. Let's go ahead get her, uh, get her put in the Durango. Alright. Alright, I'll grab one arm, I'll grab the other. Yeah, you might want to stand back here, Drake, because I'm gonna. Nice one. All right, let's stand you up. You got it. Yeah. All right. But watch out, Drake. Uh, no. Fuck sakes. Get in there. Nice. Tried headbutting me. Perfect. Right. Do you guys need a lift? Do you guys need a lift back to uh, the original scene? G's car's just up there. Alright. G, I'll let you make your own way. Uh, but yeah, if you make your way to uh, where Sam's car is, please. Just let Hudson know we're coming back to him. Ow. Oh, is that in there? Uh, where? Yep. What's up? We're just making no, our way back to you. you. Murder kitty, murder kitty, murder kitty. Where? Somewhere, did you not hear it? 11 o'clock. It's just up there, it's lying down. Oh yeah, it's lying down. He's, he's chilling. All right. Yeah, your charger's been taken, it's had too much damage. No, oh, that's fun. Yeah, What's the suspect's kinda... vehicle? Has that been towed as well? Saying it, sorry? Has the suspect's vehicle been towed as well? Yeah. Right, okay, no worries. Uh, pull over to my truck, we've got the shotgun and drugs. Roger. Yeah, I kind of just floored it. No, good on you, mate. I think they went under my car at one point. Good. Well, not if you're them. Alright, let's help Hudson out. She sounds like the murder kitty as well. Apparently. There's a shotgun. Thank you. Yeah, she's not very friendly. This is the same one who threatened to shoot me. Uh, literally, did you hear the talking about that just before you found it? Yeah. I was like, I saw her roll up and I was, I started reversing trying to get a bit down the road and then I saw the shotgun I'm like, you know what, we are no longer reversing. Yeah, no. <laughs> we are very much going forwards now, but... Mm-hmm. 
I I think this is my new approach to solving problems. Marijuana uh, cool. and cocaine. Oh, that's. Yeah, this is the second time I think oh, this shit. week that I've solved something. What? Forgot the med bag. Yeah. She wants to do more damage she can. But she's only hurting herself. I think that's gonna be me for this shift. Yeah, I think so, mate. The same, man. Yeah. I'm gonna file this impound paperwork and I'll well, I'll see you on the SA. Yep. All right, mate. No worries. See you in a bit. I hate to break it to you, but girl. Got one, show myself 121. Active, right, uh, actively double crew, Charlie Delta 1. Will be 10 6, transporting 1 10 15 back to Sandy Station. Sandy Sheriff Station. Oh, yeah, I figured out another thing I need to do with the forms because if we get a stolen vehicle, then technically I need to add options for no insurance held on the insurance policy plans. Yeah, no, that was something I noticed that you can't, if you select not held, it still requires you to select an insurance agency. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's just like, uh, fuck's sake. It's like, hang on, what? Yeah, this that's not right. <laughs> it's like you are forced to have insurance. Yes, I know, but they don't. We'll have it yeah. anyway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Also, the uh, fuel consumption should be fixed now on the fuel script. Oh, nice. Thank you. So, yeah. I'm not sure if you know this, but you probably didn't. Because you had infinite fuel turned on, probably. No, I didn't. I I was just filling up every time I um, passed a gas station instinctively at this point. Fair enough. <laughs> That's the second time this week I've smacked someone with a car. Yeah, no, I saw a run, I was just like, yeah, no, you are getting vehicle bumped. Yeah, she did... Oh shit, yeah, you did it as well, didn't you? Yeah, and then she tried to run, so I just tased her. Yeah, no, I smacked her with my car, and then I smacked the other dude who tried to shoot at me with my car. A lot of people tried to shoot at me, and my solution is car. Yes. Welcome to ETSU. Hmm. Yeah, right. We have SRU who shoot people when they shoot at you, and you have ETSU who do whatever the hell. ETSU will just run you over. Weirdly, that's somehow more of a threat. Yeah, exactly. If you get a shot, you can probably still run sometimes. If you get hit by a car, you usually can't. Yeah, quite. What the hell? Yeah, right, get ready for Glitch Central. Yeah. What in the hell is this? What are you doing, man? That is not a word. Alright, stand by. Oh, oh. shit, sorry. Where are you going? Uh, this is not working. She's in the car. What the hell? Right, give me one sec. You may need to flex your F2 muscle, man. I got it. Oh, there you go. Alright, let's go. If she becomes spicy, I got the uh, pepper spread. Yeah, nice one. No, stop it. Ah, oh, for fuck's sakes. Right, someone else help, help me get her down these yeah. stairs, please. Alright, ready? Let's go. Twat. Stop being a dickhead and just behave. Where's the cells here, Hudson? Oh, oh happy days. Yeah. I'll let you do the keypad, mate. Open holding. Fuck's sakes, right. Yeah, hang on. I'm just I'm just gonna get a cuff to the um anchor here. 
Yeah. In fact, so if someone else can uh, help me out, just put fucking one of the leg restraints on her so she's cuffed to the fucking wall here. There we go. Alright, cool. Happy. Right, she can keep the cuffs on for now. Well, that custody sergeant deal with her later. He's not going to enjoy that. No. Pablo won't enjoy her anyway. Yeah, no, quite. Right. Okay. Um. Oh, lovely. That's rude. That yeah, is rude. Right. Hey, well, um. Not free again. Yeah. No. Thanks. Why not? What? Yo, that's illegal. That's that's arms trafficking, bro. Uh, no, I shot it, so you need it. That's the rules. Oh, yes, that is oh, the rules. That's not, not a free gun. Don't have a good night, Hudson. Huh? Say again. The uh, LFSC uh, promotion poster. Oh, yeah, no. I've seen it. Free gun. Short career. Something like that. Right, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get out of here, gents, and uh continue to work on CAD, so yeah. Alright, you I'll you guys have a good one. Again. Yes. In fact just lock off, just yeah. well, you don't need to give it to me, just lock it up in armory. Or forensics oh, okay. rather. So yeah. I have to get right. with, do that. Uh, in a bit, mate. Uh, uh... Who the fuck? Yeah!